Okay, so to do this activity, go ahead and use the link that I've provided for you in Brightspace. Once you get there, you are going to need to log into Google in order to actually edit the map. You can go ahead and use your Xavier Google account, or if you've got a personal Google account, you'd rather use that, go ahead and use that one as well. Whatever gets you in there first and you're, that you're okay using, that's fine. If you've got any problems, let me know and we'll try to figure it out. Once you get into the map, feel free to kind of look around with it a little bit. Be real careful. You're all set as editors of this map, so anything you do is going to change the map for everyone. But what you need to do for this activity, come up to the search bar and type in the name of your hometown. Click on it. You might need to go ahead and click on that magnifying glass icon. And you're going to end up with something like this. Now, in terms of hometown, define that however you personally want to define that. If it's the place where you were living, your family was living when you were born, that's great. If it's the place where you just happen to live the longest, that's fine. If it's just the place that you feel most closely associated with, that's fine as well. However you personally define your own hometown, go ahead and put that one in here. If you want to get a little more specific, you can, right? Um, for example, for those of you from New Orleans, if you wanted to drop in, try to drop in like the neighborhood or the general region of New Orleans, you could go ahead and do that if you live in a larger city. Upper St. Clair for me, it's actually a small uh, municipality outside of the city of Pittsburgh, so that works pretty well for me. Once you've gotten there through the search, go ahead and click on Add to Map, and you'll see a blue pin created. Then go ahead and click on the pencil icon from this dialog box. Leave the name of the place alone, but in the comments section, go ahead and type your name, followed by an approximation of the years you live there. Doesn't have to be perfect, we're not gonna check, but just do your best to, to think of that, right? So I lived there about from when I was the ages of two to about 12. Go ahead and click on save. Again, you can play with it a little bit more if you wanna change the color, that's great. Go ahead and do yellow maybe. And then come down here under popular icons, you should see the little home icon. So go ahead and click on that since we're doing hometowns. Click on the X to get rid of that. Click on the X to get rid of that, and you can see there that my hometown is now labeled on this map. Even if we zoom way far out, it's still going to show up there. Right? If I click on it, I'm going to go ahead and get that dialog box. You'll also see them showing up here. Now, if you log in and somebody has already put a pin on your particular hometown, so if there are a bunch of you from New Orleans, don't do multiple pins just on New Orleans. So like I said, you could do something a little more specific like... Uh, New Orleans East right? or um, Algiers if you want to do something like that or let's say we had two people from Upper St. Clair the second person could come here and just edit what I had already entered come to the end of the line hit control enter to create a new line if you hit enter it's just going to save it so control enter and type in that same information just making stuff up here okay and there we go so then we'll have a list of multiple people from that same hometown all right like I said if you want to kind of see these other tools go ahead and do that but just be real careful what you do on the map because like I said it's going to appear for everybody and you all have full access to it be particularly careful not to delete anything that you yourself have not created all right let's see what you can do